This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? Walking we'll back go, here at uh, George Roberts Field and two of the best Robert. records in Anne Arundel County play, private or public, and 8 0 Severna Park, 6 0 Broadnack, the face off here early, and it goes to the Barkin. A little passing shower here. We take this compared to last year's game in St. Kate St. Clair, which is a driving rainstorm in that one. Has been dominant first real test of the season for them. Broadneck last two games combined three goals and the two wins against South River and against Mount Hebron. Looking here. with the goal there that gets the Falcons on the board in this one here and the two teams met last season and Broadnet won both matchups. Face off again. Able to get it. Gets it back another check. The Bruins, like I said, competition-wise, gotten tough. Both teams dominated in the Virginia Maryland showcase as long along with South River as well. One nothing lead here for the Falcons. Look, so far, the Falcons has been an attack from the get-go. Over here is the Burkhart. Ball came out of his stick late. Get it back over a couple of passes. Looking. 10 20 left here. And the quarter swings it back again. Here we go, Burke. Looking behind the net here. Two minutes into the game, shoots it long, and it was intercepted. Tell him the goalie with it. And now Bruins and their maroon colors back up with it, trying to tie the game at one. McCassie with it. As the Bruins Jack swings it over there to Stewart, the Mitty Senior. I said a passing shower. Hit us here and the Vernon Park. Again, Annapolis, Arizona County Showcase coming up in a couple weeks with. Uh, South River, the Vernon Park, and Broadneck all with buys. And this game is huge to see who will be the one seed in that. Looking here, nine minutes here left in the corner. Boom, trying to make something happen there. Smith with it. Looking here. Coming over with it. Do it again. They swing it back around the edge again. 
8.30 left here in the first. one nothing lead here for Severna Park. The winner of this game will be considered for national rankings here. Both teams was considered this week in the USA lacrosse pole. I would think the winner definitely got a good shot of getting in it. Looking here. Over again. Looking to swing it. Good job, D. <laughs> Looking here. And a nice save. What about that one? Richmond with a good save there. And the ball back the other way here. But the Falcons trying to go up two goals here in this one. Let's go, Lando. Last two games has been drum. Shooting! Two nothing here. Home crowd liking that. Let's go, Lando. Time out here. Not a time on my look like it was. Let's go, Park! Let's go, Park! starting to intensify a little bit. Again, it's a passing shower. Should be hopefully over in a little bit. Forecast well, said maybe not. Face off here. Let's go! Still coming down. Ball back the other way here. To Sabrina Park. Right now, Sabrina Park looking impressive here. into the game and the Falcons here at home taking advantage of the rain and everything else and they're up three early. Face off here, the Bruins finally win one and much needed here. So Vernonbach saying so far we're trying to get the 9 0 here on the season. And it's a three goal lead early in this one. That's the question here, remember. We just mentioned earlier, bronick has been through two tough games here in the past week. So how will that affect him? That could play a factor. 6.24 remaining here in the corner. We'll give you a breast of what's going on. Look at he shoots! Score! As the rain intensifies here at Severna Park. That gets, let's get the Bruins on the board. They're down two goals now. Well, the good news is it's not a, a windy storm like it was a year ago at Cape St. Clair, but this one came out of nowhere, literally right before the game started here. And again, we expect it to stop here at any moment here. Like I said, it's passing. We don't expect it to be long, but as they say, it's long enough. Face off here as the ball was rolling and it goes back here to Broadneck. Broadneck gets it back. Down two goals here in this one. Good again, not able to go into the press box area. We was worried about the wind. We didn't expect the rain to come. <laughs> Five forty-seven remaining here in the quarter. Yeah, we're about to be under the lights 
here in a little bit. That was a long pass back. And able to get it over now to the Bruins and back again over to Smith. The junior. Ooh, what a, what a face guard, as they would say. Shower passing. Look like it's about over. Look in here. Right, that can score quickly. We've seen that against Kent Allen this season. Look in here. 455 left here in the quarter. So far, good pass work here. Down late, got it back. Looking over again with it. Looking back, was looking to shoot. Got it through. Will shoot. And look at Shane off. What a goalie stick there. That kind of was a four shot there. And that kind of, they brought that pay. So, Front of Park has been three for three in goal so far in the game. See, they can make it four for four. Swings it back and the passing shower has left us. Three forty left here in the quarter. Spins! Nice pass there and good movement again of the ball here. That sails wide. Over the net, ball stays with the Falcons. Still up two goals here with 325 remaining. Here in the first. Back. Behind the net. Looking. Checks there. Spins out of it. Back. Shoots. Shots on goal, four on four, and four for four for the front of Park. Face off here, this time it goes to the Bruins and the goal side. Three, two, thirty remaining here in the quarter. Barnett with the ball down three goals in this one. Looking. Pass shoots and a hot skipper right there to the right. Ball stays with Barnett. I think ricocheted off the post a little bit too and back on boom. That's it, Joey! Two minutes left here. Yeah, Joey! Double back! Tried to connect! They could not! Ball pass! That was a hot one. We don't get to it. And does get to it in time. And we'll have our 
first penalty of the game coming up here. Next stop, it's a play. Looking here. Swings it back. Looking. A minute left here in the quarter. Spins out of it. Green looking here. Down to 40, two seconds left here in the corner. Come on, come on, come on. Looking, shoots. No pass, excuse me. Getting around the edge of the net there. And what we got? Boston State with Severna Park, I believe. As finally we had the stoppage of play there to assess the penalty. Look like a one minute variety against the Bruins, extra man here. Penalty the one, Park, already up three goals. Number 10, Austin Combs, one minute. So senior Combs hit the penalty on him. Extra man chance here for Severna Park here. And they're going to the second quarter here. So they had 30 seconds of it going into the second as well. If they don't score here, they're in the first. And shoots, skips wide, first shot on goal. Right, did not go in there for us to run a ball. 13 seconds left here in the court. Second game of our double dip here in the Spring Sports Series. Defending four eight champions, and we're back in the second quarter here from Sofern Park, where hopefully raindrops have left us for the evening. We're back in the second quarter coming up. All right, second quarter here, getting underway. We got a penalty. 31 seconds into the quarter. All right, for the second quarter of play here. Long pass back behind the net. Swings it over. Pass back with it. Fakes the shot. A little guarding there, trying to defend the shot not being on. Penalty at nine seconds and counting. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Barnett will get the extra man, regular man back. Eleven twenty left here in the quarter. Bruins down three. Yeah. Shoots. Nice guard block there. And back over to Barnett. Good block. Ball back here to Harris. Harris bringing it coast to coast. Shoot, score! You gotta hit him, guys! Harris went coast to coast there with that one. And puts the lead in half for the two now. Doubled up on Barnett to run apart. He's still up two. Harris unassisted, went coast to coast with that one. Off here. Eleven oh two. Face off. 
Scoops out, and Broadneck gets it back in. Shaw. You got him! You got him! Shaw escapes. Time out by Broadneck. 10.47 left here in the first half. We thank you so much. Check this out here on the Dice Line Up. You can always tweet us. Dice Line Up. Emailed off. We'll be back to bring you this one coming up. Back in the game action now, 1047. Here left in the first half. As the Bruins down two goals here. We'll give you an update on what's going on at Severn with St. Mary's and Archbishop Spalding. And McDonough and Calvin Hall as well. We'll let you know what's a cooking up in those two matchups in the MIA side. Looking here. It was a good save, but I'm able to fully contain it. That ricochet stays on this end. It stayed. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Balding is rolling. Let's go, Posey. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Second yeah, quarter, 10 to 1 <laughs> over St. Mary. Man. It she is. <laughs> well, me, not trying to brag, but this, if you want to see some <laughs> top boys lacrosse, Emerald County place. To be tonight, and right here in Savannah Park, the place to be. Looking here, yeah. nice save again. Yeah. Save Winship. How about that? What a save. They've done in the second quarter, by the two in their matchup against Calvin Hall. In the early, in the mid second there. Almost in the mid second here. South River right behind these two teams. South River did lose the broad net. Like we said, 10 to 8. And that was Hughes there. Last week and then. And Sabrina Park has it now. Broad net. The big win against Mount Hebron. Big win there. Back over a low pass. Looking. 840 remaining here in the half. Back. Eight twenty left here in the half. In front of Paul. They're being patient here. And that really go check of the stick. Shoots it off the post out of bounds. And the ball stays here on this end. 8.02 left. Pass there. Time. 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 Controlling the pace here. Yeah. 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 Dips it back. Shoots! Yeah. Yeah. Defeated teams in this one. Like I said, the winner have a good chance of being closely considered for national high school rankings. And obviously, the, it's a 
Again, it goes on, the losers will still be considered as well. These are two pretty good teams here in District 5 here in Arrow County. 7.30 remaining here in the first half. Schmidt. Oh, fakes. Shoots. Yeah. That one went wide to the left. Ball stays with Brunet. With 7.02 left in the half. Here. Looking again. Get back, get back. Slides it back to the outside. Nice pass back in there. Looking, looking back. Oh, All right, trying to cut the lead back down to two. Yeah! Runner Park gets it back. Funny, we got this. Yeah, go see Sharana Park and Sherwood. Those things run about Broadnet play each other. What's up, man? Dominated nice. Sherwood in that matchup. Broadnet was able to beat Catonville. They had to come back and do it in that game a year ago. And like I said, teams are different. Shade as day switches in the night here. Looking back. Shoots! Title. 
Look in here. Trying to come back with it to shoot. Four minutes just about left and a half. The 6 2 affair. Looking again. Checks again, back over. That shoots! Skips wide in the middle. The ball stays with the runner block here. 345 left here in the half. Play with Sims. Oh, back around with it. Trying to backhand it in. The ball rolls. By diving for it. And Sabrina Paul keeps it on his end. Yes, that was right. So all together. Three thirty-four remaining, a four-goal lead there for the Falcons here at home. There. How do you call that from over here? They're not used to. Looking here for Stewart. Put on the brakes again. Brakes twice. Good job, one five. Looking here. Let's go up. Oh, coming back with it. Shoots. Two eighteen laps of Runner Park trying to go up by five goals here. Oh no pass there, able to get it. Well, well, well. Many rain drops, not too much like it was back in the early part of the game in the first quarter. Minute fifty five left and a half. So Runner Park trying to increase the lead. Now it's at a full goal split. Back, tried to connect, could not. Ball still kind of down. The ball apart, we're trying to get it. That do get it finally, and the ball will go back the other way, I think. Time out. With a minute 35 left there. Runner Pop caught the timeout. And at least six to two. We'll be right back. All right, we're back to game action here. Six two game, one thirty left. Ronick trying to make something happen here. Oh, what a play there to get that in well. and a stick. That almost went the other way. Come on, well. Coming back with it. Flag late against the runner Park. Get this belly in for the half. It gets under a minute, they won't. And there it is. There it is. So this penalty will, if it's a minute variety, but it'll be two second difference between the penalty and the game clock. So it's the 30 second variety. Still have a little time. Let's see. 
Second penalty against uh, Sabrina Park, Number 37, Landon Williams. 30 Wait. seconds. 30 seconds for Ida. So, Ronak with a chance here to get something going. Extra man for 30 seconds here. Seconds. Probably at 12 seconds. I don't think they get enough time to get a shot off. That one back. That'll kill the penalty. Ball was loose briefly there as it was a low pass. Looking for it here. Time out here. Of front of Park. We're back to end the first half here Time from out. George Roberts. I right, have a back to game action here. So front of Park has it. 20 seconds left in the half. Pretty much, pretty much one. We don't get a good shot off the court in the half. Right here. And this is happening here. Eight Seven, seconds. Left. Six. six, five, four, three. Shoot, set. Went wide to the left. 1.7 seconds left for Hill Falcon here in all Angle. Throw it up and see who wants it. Almost. They were connected. Look out. Ronak was able to intercept it. Halftime here in Sabrina Park. And the Falcons up 6 to 2 in this one. And we're back with the second half here from Jordan Robbins Field. Here on the campus of Sabrina Park High School after this one. Second half about to get going here from Zapata Park and the Falcons up six to two. Halftime spawning and they're up 12 to three over St. Mary's. In their matchup. All right, David. Huge ton of friends to have with St. Mary's this season. So they away the ball back to Rodney. Third quarter, 6 4 lead for McDonough. Here over Calvert Hall. We knew that one was going to be a good one indeed between those two teams. Come back with it here. Springs for series. Going on again next week on the Springsport Series Tilt. Baseball at McDonough with the ready. McDonough will be in a conference game. Whoa, that one shot over the net. Ball stays as well.
We're going to have that one for you. Cross side. Thompson and Peyton's belt. We're going to have that one for you. Spins out of it. Nice. Able to force something out there and still a whistle. And the ball stays this way. They'll be having a double double cross. I don't know yet. <laughs> Looking here. Yeah. Oh, he's going to it. Yeah. And it came out. Yeah. And Sabrina Buck trying to scoop it up. Yeah. Ball still rolling. Still rolling. here in the third. Oh, got a, a lane. On that offensively here. Gonna come up with a way to kind of get themselves back in rhythm. Coming back with it. Pass to the left side of the outside. And inside of Broadnick territory here. Looking for it. Shoots! And a save! Back the other way. Oh, that one. Able to get it chopped out. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Mr. Able to get it back. That was a pretty good play there by the Falcons. Look at, pass it back over. Looking for it here still, neither team scoring yet here in the second half. It's passed there behind the net. They come back up for it. Oh, ball checked out. What a hit. Ball still rolling. Who gets it? Oh, All right, Bronack will get it back. And it's there. Paul will get it back on this end here. You can hear again. You got enough go there to last a lifetime between those couple of checks and pops. It hits. There between the two teams. Wise it ricocheted off of Tim Romero's back there. Looking here. Going back to the outside. Nope. Back. Oh, look at. Cuts there by Harris. Harris trying to trying to get his second goal of the game. He's able to pass it back. He's going pass there. Coming with it. Shoots over the net. And the ball stays this way as full nightfall. There has hit us here at Severna Park. Beautiful evening it is. Look at Shoots! Score! Going first on the board here in the third, and they cut the lead in half, six to three. Go, Savannah Park! <laughs> uh, I think the PA now, sir, uh, had the wrong one. Up. On the goal, number 14, Liam Kamarosi, with the assist, number 22, Tan Tanner Boone. <laughs> Mr. Boone. Let's go, what? Let's go, Thanks, 
ball back here the other way. Let's go up. Come on. Let's go up. Let's go, balls. It's the back 744 left here in the third. First time. Able to get it back up. Play still continues here. Assessing the penalties now. 7 18 left here in the third. Penalties on Broadneck, number five, Eli Harris, and number 13, Albert Palsa. One minute. One minute each. So, I will ask the man here. Six against four. Tough to defend here. Four goals again. And both teams have scored a goal here in the quarter. 7 8 left here in the third. Face off here. Ball back here to Bronick. Penalty will dissolve a spire off the goal. Let's go, Lee, get that ball! Oh, yeah, well! Runner Park trying to get to it. Nine and all in the season. We're on that. The South trying to get to seven and all, but they lose. The score will indicate right now to them that it is a six and one. We're on the season. 6.40 left, yeah, in the third. That was a blocker. Save windship. Six minutes left, halfway down here in the quarter. 13 to 5 mid third quarter. Nice work, Lambo! Down in seven, as it's all exploding in that one. Seven five lead for McDonough. They're going to the floor. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 
to you on Savannah Park. Number 16, Upton Young. 30 seconds. 32nd variety. There's the man track. Up coming your way, Townsend and Catonville. Oh Being on Thursday here on DSN, we have for you Friday morning. Should be a fun one. Go Common Park and West Southwestern Baltimore County. Looking forward to that one. We will keep the eyes on a ACC against Power. That's a big game. That might be for the right. Be the top seed in the city title game. And that And it skipped wide. 2.43 left here in the quarter. Coming back with it. Spins out of it. Looking, looking. Jump, jump. Pass back a couple times. Brings it over to the outside. Now for Smith. Broadnet needs something on offense here. That was a good check, Lando. Right now, they don't got much of going. That was a pass that hot. Able to get it. 2 3 left here in the quarter. Broadnet down five. Makes the shot. Back. Shoots off the post and it ricocheted to midfield. Ball still scooping. Rodney gets it back. 17 seconds on the penalty. 33 left here in the quarter. Good 
looking here. Spins it back, spins it around again. Looking. Fast, long. Got it, though. Shoots. All right, ladies and gentlemen, fourth quarter about to get underway in this one, and a couple scores, my quick 13. Six, I believe, at the three. Between Savannah, I mean, between St. Mary's and Savannah. Tied at seven. Fourth quarter between McDonough and Calvin Hall. And can Calvin Hall put it into McDonough's streak here. And that one should be a fun full court in there. Run up down. Look at it! Score! Yeah! 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 We say the Brunner Park score, they have been dominant. And this is their type of game here, they've been dominant in this. Go 
over here looking back. Shoots it wide. Ball stays this way with the Falcons. With 10.45 remaining, up by seven. Whistle. So 10-25 remaining penalty against the Bruins. We'll see what variety it is. South River and how big that game will be. They have another week they play Southern and then go from there and play in the showcase. Yeah, yeah. Well, Starting the season with a rundle and dominated that contest. 7.54 remaining here. 10 to 3, your score. So as of right now, unless this one gets close, we're playing the string out. We got a penalty against the Verona Park now. And we'll see how long the variety of it will be. Number 2, Timmy Sullivan, 1 minute. Java Hall has taken the lead on McDonough with 3.43 remaining. That one, 8 to 7. Time with us. And St. Mary still down eight against Harding. Taken back here. The penalty, a minute variety. The question is here can Barnett cut into the lead? Mm -hmm. 
shoots, score! On that down Golden six, ten to four now. On the goal number 27, so Tyler Both teams Hicks. will score at least one extra man goal in the contest. years. Very interesting, even with them not being in the same classification in NPSSA April season. Last two seasons has still been an interesting rivalry. Five twenty-seven left in this. Come on, Bert. Looking here. Looking back, and pass! Oh, oh what a save! Long well, pass! That was a good save there, back over, nice. One in the stick. Trying to cut this lead in half here. It's brought in there, they gotta have a little bit more sense of urgency here. Still down six goals. So it's gonna fall, don't need it. They're just trying to run that clock down. Wendy down here. The 423 win. McDonough down a goal still. 4.2 seconds left. 8 7 at Easton Towson. We got baseball. Yeah, let's go! Two robbery games at the same night. How about that? They're all trying to get one of them. All right, time out by Bronick. Uh, 4-4 remaining here in regulation time. And the Bruins looking up at a six-point deficit. Six-goal deficit, that is, with the Until the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen, it is buy one, get one for all hot food at the concession stand. So they got the hook up. Again, the next time you see us on the lacrosse field. Coming up, we'll be right back. I hear the game action here. Oh, fast 
the air for Broadback. Less than four minutes left here in this one. Back. Fakes. Spins. On his feet still. Ball back. There's a runner ball. Nice play there to recover. Yeah. That's a Come on, boys! Here you go, boys! Here you go, boys! Here you go, Teddy! All right, we're going quick. Next time you see us on the car field, we'll be Towson and Catonsville coming up first. All right, we're back to game action here. Got to hold on to everything here. We got stuff flying everywhere in this win. Still with 36 with well, three seconds left. Good time for us. Tava Hall still up a goal. East Towson. Right, hold on to win that one. Looking here. Three minutes left just about in the game. 10-4 game. Barnett well, gonna suffer their first defeat of the season here. And playing keep away. Right here. Sam? Oh, oh. Man. playing some keep away here. Three minutes left and uh, now we're going to get so far and that was 17 8 really from the get go. We got 10 more games from the get go. Let's go, Davis! Yeah, Davis! Yeah. Rodnack here is going to go down. Long pass back. That goes out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah. What a win for Severna Park. <laughs> That's it, Will. Pop, ball batted around. Get there. Let's go. Red, red, red. Now you brought that. You need Severna Park to lose here at home. There's South River coming up Tuesday. Have a three-way tie. And then it might go to point differential, perhaps. And depending on how things go, Severna Park might still win in the A lot going on here. Let's go! And finally, yeah. 4.8 seconds left. It'll be against Broadneck here. Woo! And things out. Non-releasable! Like I said, well, you got state champions going at each other. Couple seasons. Way to play with with the final 54.8 <laughs> seconds remaining. Time out, Severna Park. <laughs> 
So. One minute. One minute variety. The penalty's not going to be. It's going to overstand the length of the game. So. I say, and, and Severna Bosque, they probably just hold the ball here and try to just run the clock here. What a big win for the Falcons here in this one. They're going to. We're going to have a big. Scooped it up here for Broadnack, trying to get a parting gift in this one. Up skipper. Pass is skipped there, no good. Long pass is shoots. Yeah! Oh, Acclamation point. It's a hell. Oh, I was an open letter. Had an open letter there, and this one went all fine. 22 seconds left. Way to finish with Charles, Brad Nick. Woohoo! Swiss cheese, baby. Take a seat. And the penalty that had a hit was late as we turned to the action. Number 28, Braden Bernstein, one So from the park record, we'll go to 9 0 here on the season. And again, they have been dominating their opponents. Why is his flag late? Champion brethren, and these two teams could see each other again part. in the showcase. They could see each other again in the county championship game. Depends on how things go. See how things go there. Baseball and lacrosse for us next week, but hard court for us in the Capital Classic down in the nation's capital. Coming at you tomorrow with the preliminary game and the 51st Capital Classic matchup coming up tomorrow here on DS. Until we see you in the nation's capital and the entertainment and sports arena in DC. So long for now. This is Die Sporting Network.